Hello, welcome to Chris's Quick Tips for Google Sheets. In this video, I'm going to explain Google Sheets syntax for specifying a range and how to enter a range using either a mouse or keyboard. In column B, I have not used a range, I've simply added five cells together. A useful trick that I regularly use to check a formula is to hit F2. This allows you to edit the contents of a cell, but it also highlights all the cells referenced by the formula in the cell in a different color for each. Uh, for example, blue for the text B7 and the blue dashed line around B7. This can be really useful when trying to fix a problem with a formula that isn't working. In cell C2, I have used the sum function which will add up the contents of all the cells in a range. The range is defined by putting the cell reference of the top left of the range, followed by a colon, followed by the cell reference for the cell at the bottom right of the range. As you can see, this then adds up all the cells in the range and gives the same total 15 as the manual edition in column B. Type F2 and this time Google Sheets shows the range C3 to C7 in orange and draws a line not around the individual cells but this time around the range of cells C3 to C7. The range does not need to be a single row or a single column. In this case the range is all the numbers in the range B3 to C7. If you type F2 and you can see the orange dashed lines around the range. Let's just delete this formula and demonstrate how to enter the formula. When you type equals, Google Sheets will pop up a suggested list of formulas that you may want to use. It will even suggest the range of cells for the formula. In this case, Google Sheets' second suggestion is the sum function. If you like to use the keyboard, then hit tab and then down arrow to highlight sum and then hit enter and it will put the formula with Google Sheets guess at the range in the cell. If this range is correct, which it is in this case, then hit enter again. If you prefer to use the mouse, then just click on sum in the list of formulas and then click again to accept the suggested formula and range. If you prefer to type the formula yourself, then type equals sum. At this stage, Google Sheets will suggest a range which you can either click with the mouse or hit enter to accept if the range is correct, or you can type open brackets, at which stage Google Sheets will pop up a help box with tips for using the formula. If you prefer to use the keyboard, Use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move to the start or end cell for the range. Then hold down the shift key and use the cursor keys to move to the other end of the range. If you prefer to use the mouse, then click the mouse in any cell. This gets rid of the tip box, which is covering the range that you want to highlight. Now click again in cell C3. You can now hold down shift and click the cell at the other end of the range. Or you can click at the start of the range and do not release the mouse button, hold it down and drag to the end of the range. You then have to type the close bracket. Or you can use a mixture of keyboard and mouse. Personally, I tend to use the mouse to select the start of the range and then the keyboard using shift and arrow keys to get to the other end of the range. If you want to add up all the numbers in a column, even cells that are currently empty, but may possibly contain values in the future, you can use just the column letters with no numbers. For example, specify column E with the syntax E colon E. This means the range is all cells in column E. Type F2 to show the range, and you can see the range includes all cells from column E. That's from E1 down to E7. I've deliberately entered this formula in column F because if this formula is in E2, this causes a circular error in the sheet. A circular error is when the calculated value of the cell 
or the output of the cell, is also in the input range to the formula of the cell, i.e. it's circular because it's both an input and an output. However, it is often the case that you will want a total at the top of a column of numbers. So Google Sheets allows you to specify the start of the range and then specify all the other cells in the column by just using the column letter with no number. Type F2 again to show the range and you can see that it is column G from G3 downwards. This syntax can also be used for multiple columns. In this example, the cells that are summed are all the cells from G3 down to the bottom of column H. If you type F2, you can see the range and you can see the range from G3 down to the bottom of column H. This syntax can also be used for rows by specifying the row number for the end of the range. If you type F2 again, you can see the range is the row this time. The benefit of ranges becomes clear if I add five more rows to this sheet, which is populated with more numbers. You can see that in column B and column C, they do not include the new numbers in the addition. However, the sum function using the range that includes the entire columns do include the new numbers automatically with no changes.